Okay, so having demonstrated the pre-selector tracking the radio, let's take a look at the manual application that uh, partners the pre-selector so that if you are unable to or don't want the pre-selector to track your radio, then of course you can control it manually by hand or you can use the application that is supplied with it. So if we start that a second, there we go. Let's pop you down there. And of course we need the tables to ah there we go. Okay, let's make a bit of room. The pre-selector is switched into the loop. So there we have it. Okay. Right, so we're in bypass mode. So to begin with, we go to band A. And this is using the mouse wheel. As you can see, uh, because of the, the Q of the circuit and the low frequency, uh, the, uh, the peak is quite pronounced on an SDR. And of course, as you go up higher in frequency, so that uh, peak broadens out further and further, so that uh, ab above about 5 megahertz, maybe even lower, the, uh, the spectrum display remains level all the way across. But So what we're going to do is calibrate the, the band table will calibrate the preselector by amending the band table. So what we have here, our first frequency is 1.74. 1.74. There we go. And we adjust this so that the peak coincides. Um, we'll fine tune it a little. This gets harder as you go up in frequency. It's not too bad. Right then. So at 1.74 megs, the tuning indicator shows 275 PF. So we go to the band table and amend that to 275. Now it's quite a laborious task, but uh, it's well worth doing. The next frequency is 1761. So again, we tune until we peak. Find the value 264. That was close. Mm, that's interesting. Seems to be happening from time to time on Windows 8. Right, anyway, upwards and onwards. 1783. Oops, Daisy, what am I doing? 1783 254 1799 You are able to change the frequencies in the table should you so desire. I think it can take up to something like uh, 60 uh, individual frequencies per table. But uh, personally, I don't see much point in amending the table other than changing the tuning values. So it's at 249. One eight one seven. Two three nine.
Right, now finally, of course, one would carry on and do the other bands, band B, C, D and E. F, of course, is a fixed uh, band pass filter for 6 metres, so that's not tunable. I won't bother doing the rest of these bands now, but I'll demonstrate. Once you have finished adjusting the tables according to your own findings, then it's simply a question of sending those tables to the preselector. Done. And so now, once the uh, the unit is set up to follow by cat to track the radio, it should track the radio uh, more accurately in terms of peaking.